United Tradesman Academy. Woo! Guys, look. Why do we continue to fail in goals in life, whether we just get into this trade? Guys, look. I gotta do a job this morning, so while I'm doing this job, we're gonna have a conversation. Right, guys so this one story i'm gonna make it quick i was preparing to uh take my master electrician exam and i got injured on the job we were moving some uh conduit from one part of the airport to the other part of the airport on a rolling cart and i was in front of the cart and my co-worker was pushing the cart from the rear so i was in the front he was in the rear and somehow I'm not gonna say whose fault or whatever. The cart ran into the back of my heel with probably about maybe 500 pounds, feet of a conduit that was rolling on that cart. It ran into the back of my heel and uh, I developed a bad sprain. And I was on crutches for about a month. And so I was not able to work. Um, I just had to go to the office every day and do paperwork. So, but like I said, at this around this time, I was preparing to take my master electrician exam. So I was in a prep course every week. Uh, every Saturday I was doing a prep course, right? So now here I am, I get thrown a curveball. It's almost like what worse thing can you have happen to you uh, to where it can make, it can maybe get you de demotivated because now um, your routine day to day has changed. So what I did was I adapted to the change even though the change wasn't really in my favor because I got injured but that's one of the one that's one of the number one reasons why guys do not pass I'm sorry that guys do not uh, make it far in the trade because they can't adapt to a change a change where they could be from going to one job site to the next job site working with one foreman now you work with the a a-hole foreman or a-hole superintendent you know or whether it's working in the stream, extreme heat or in the extreme cold. So all these different changes, all these different moves, all these different emotions that we have, sometimes it clouds our uh, judgment at the right moment in that situation. So had I let that situation get me down, I probably would have, I probably would, I probably would have delayed me passing uh, my mass electrician exam on the first try. So back to the story. So when I got injured, I just started taking my uh, test material, my study material to the office with me every day because I had to sit in the office and I would do paperwork in the office, you know? So I would do, I would study and I would do office paperwork. I would study and I would do office paperwork. I, had, I did this for like about two weeks and the superintendent was like, you ready to go back to work yet? <laughs> he was like, you know, you can't just keep sitting in here, you know? And uh, he was like, I know your ankle is still hurting. I know you're on crutches and everything, but you gotta eventually start back walking on that thing, you know, so you can get back used to it working. Because if you just sit there and let your ankle sit, you know, it's gonna atrophy, atrophy, atrophy. It's basically where you don't use your muscle and it becomes weaker over a certain time. So I gotta finish raising the other line in. I'll check back with you.
All right, guys, look. So this next story, it's gonna be quick, short, tell it straight to the point. So basically I was like a second, maybe like a third year apprentice, right? We were doing a police station here. My superintendent was giving me a hard time. I guess so he thought he was giving me a hard time. So basically um, I had to go in and install outlets throughout some of the rooms. And you know, a lot of times when you're doing receptacles, if you got a lot of them, you'll have a bucket that you go around that you sit on. You know, cause the bucket is roughly the same height as the receptacles. So he said, no, you can't use a bucket. You need to use your knees. I was like, use my knees? He was like, yeah, don't, don't sit down. I don't need you to sit down. I need you, you need to get on your knees and do, uh, put them receptacles in, outlets in. So you know what? I said, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I got done with that, right? Then like the next week, uh, we had to uh, put some PVC pipe in the ground outside. Now, mind you, we had a trencher. You know, a trencher is where you can use a machine. It'll dig the, the trench for you. It'll dig the ditch for you. He wanted me to do it by hand. So I said, okay, no problem. So the next week, guys, you won't believe this. We were inside having lunch and someone was up, I think, doing some painting, you know, one of the other trades. And I guess he didn't realize that, right? But they were using a lift to take you up in the air. So he said his hand, you know, where the lift raises up and down, he said his hand right there and the guy came down and crushed his hand. So guys, look, you just gotta go through it because you never know how it's gonna come out on the other end.
Guys, look, you can never give up on what you say you want to do in life. Even when things look insurmountable, even when you got a whole bunch of weight on your shoulder, you still got to continue to grind at it because one day it will change. The moral, the moral of this story is don't be too hard on yourself. Have patience with yourself. And find you someone who's willing to mentor you. Find someone that's been through everything that you're about to go through. Because some things you're just not prepared for. And there's nothing wrong with that. For me, I had a few mentors that came a little bit later on, but first beginning of my career, I um, only had maybe my dad. My dad was not a tradesman, but he had life experience, so he could give me experience from that aspect. But certain things, it, I needed someone who had been in the same environment around the same set of circumstances. So you can't give up on yourself. Stay patient, stay humble, and become more disciplined. Discipline is gonna take you wherever you need to go. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time back at United Tradesman Academy.